What if I told you there was a way to gather contacts information from LinkedIn profiles with a single click and have hundreds of phone numbers and emails in a single database? No, this is not a scam. I've tested this automation tool on several profiles, even those of top industry leaders, and well, I may or may not have Oprah's number now. Uh, I'm kidding, I don't. It's probably her assistant. If you've tried to acquire a contact for people of interest on LinkedIn, then you know the struggle. Unfortunately, you're already starting at a disadvantage because nearly 90% of LinkedIn users never share their contact information openly. It's all hidden. Fortunately for you, however, I have the best automation tool to save you hours manually scurrying LinkedIn for contact details. And I must say, it's magical. Whether you're looking for potential leads or seeking networking opportunities as a job seeker, in this video, I will show you how to get the hidden email addresses and phone numbers of LinkedIn contacts and how to automate the process. Coming up. So for context, I run an online coaching business and I've attempted to connect with entrepreneurs, content creators, and coaches who may be interested in my coaching program. And now I've also considered reaching out to seasoned guest speakers who can speak to specific topics in the program as well. And the problem was I couldn't find their contact information on LinkedIn. So here's how I solved that problem. Data scraping. Perhaps you've heard of it before, but if you haven't, it's essentially the process of automatically extracting information from websites. Now, Magical is an automation tool that does just that and more. It's especially powerful for LinkedIn scraping because it comes with enrichment features. And this means Magical smartly sifts through LinkedIn data and extracts hidden emails and phone numbers, even from profiles that don't openly list them. So you'll need Magical to follow along, so be sure to check the link in the description to install it to your browser. All right, now let's dive into finding those prime candidates on LinkedIn. So the first thing you wanna do, like I did on my screen here, is look for people who are in the content creator, entrepreneurial space, and coaches, so that I can find the exact person I'm looking for. You wanna ensure that you also have this set on people and not on jobs, so you can actually find the contacts that you're looking for. So I've found a few candidates here, and I currently have different profiles open in multiple tabs. Now let's move on to the magic part, which is extracting those precious contact details. I'm gonna go to the first content creator's profile that I have open here, and I wanna get her information into a database so that I can use it to contact her at a later point. So first thing I'm gonna do is click on the magical toggle, which is always there handy on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna ensure that I first get her email. So I'm gonna find her email here. Magical is gonna do its thing, extract her email. It is blurred out just for her privacy. I'm not aware or affiliated with her. Okay, so now that I have her email, the next part is extracting her email into a database so I can contact her later. Now, there are a number of different ways to do this. First, you can create a new automation. However, you can also use pre-existing automation that Magical already has. One in particular is moving the contact details into a spreadsheet. So I have a few spreadsheets I've used before, so it's asking if it wants me to move her data into a existing spreadsheet. But I can add a new spreadsheet, and look at this, this is the automation part of it. You can also automate sending all of these different tabs into a single database all at once, which is phenomenal. So I can click all tabs, all right, so fantastic, Magical did its thing, and now we have a completed database with just the contacts that I wanted to scrape into this. Now, like I said, you can go back into different LinkedIn profiles and scrape just that information back into the spreadsheet. So I can give this a nice little name here. All right, so I give it a name, LinkedIn Prospects, and now I can just add it to this LinkedIn Prospects database anytime I'm on, I'm on LinkedIn. So that's how it's done with Google Sheets. Now I can also do this with other applications which I've already gone ahead and done. So I use Notion, and so I want to scrape this information into a Notion board. Okay, so just like that, we were able to extract information into Notion. It automatically did everything for me there. And I can just click on Submit. Now there are ways, once you have a field open, whereby you can auto-submit the information. So if I do it manually here, what's gonna happen is going to add that form and now Rachel's information is in my database. So this is really cool and I love automating the process. Now with Magical, we love automation. So it's not just Notion and Google Spreadsheet. You can also create automations within Magical to transfer data to CRMs or any open field form on the web. All done in seconds. So uh, I guess that's it for the video, huh? 
I mean, that's what you came for, right? <laughs> but I'm feeling generous, so I figured I'd share some follow-up tips using AI. Now, crafting that initial message can be tricky, but here's a quick framework if you find it difficult to reach out. Connect, give, invite, and convert. First one, connect. Make sure your profile is optimized and personalize your connection requests. You can say something like, hi, insert name. I came across your profile while exploring leaders in the, state the industry, loved your recent post on specific topic, let's connect and share insights. Here's an example for my context as a coach reaching out to a course creator who teaches piano. Hi John, I recently discovered your courses on how to play the piano and I must say they're truly inspirational. I'd love to connect and discuss how we can help each other reach more aspiring pianists. Number two, give. Offer something valuable right after connecting, like a free guide or resource. For example, I compiled a guide on building profitable courses. Would you like a copy? Keeping it simple. Number three, invite. Invite them to something engaging, such as a webinar or a free consultation. Example, we're hosting a webinar next week on maximizing course sales. Interested? And the last one, of course, is convert. Follow up with a clear, concise ask. For example, here's the webinar recap. Let's chat about how my coaching program can help you boost your sales. For a more detailed explanation, check out our other video where Jason dives deep into these strategies. The link is in the description. Okay, now I'm done. Wait, you still here? I know I'm a catch, but I'm taken, sorry. But what you can do is subscribe, like the video, and go watch Jason's video. Ta-ta.